It's been about 30 years since NASA astronauts saved the Hubble Space Telescope on an immensely daring mission. At the time, it was perhaps the most daring mission scientists had conceived of. In short, Hubble was launched in 1990 with faulty optics that produced blurred images. Fortunately, however, the Space Telescope, which orbits Earth, was designed to be physically repaired by astronauts. Fast forward to recent years, the legendary Space Telescope one more time calls for help. To be honest, this concerns NASA so much since unlike before, the agency is now facing major financial trouble. But at all hope is not lost. Fortunately, NASA now has a reliable commercial partner, SpaceX, who promises to save them from rock bottom. Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. Since its launch, the world's premier visible light space observatory has been sending back to Earth jaw-dropping images for 32 years. It currently orbits about 332 miles or 535 kilometers above Earth, completing one orbit approximately every 95 minutes. But Hubble's about far more than just pretty pictures. The mission has gathered dozens of terabytes of data over the decades, providing key insights into the universe. From objects as close as the moon to the most remote galaxies, with observations of supernovas and nebulas in between. However, space is a risky environment that can threaten any man-made object that stays in there long enough. The Hubble Space Telescope is not exceptional, given that it recently has been experiencing continuous incidents, putting its life in a state of uncertainty sooner than planned. On November 29, NASA announced that Hubble was in a safe mode because of a problem with one of its three operational gyroscopes. That gyro first triggered a safe mode on November 19, when it provided what NASA described as faulty readings. Spacecraft controllers restored the operations of Hubble, only to see problems again on November 21 and 23. The agency said in the statement that engineers were studying the problem and did not estimate when science operations would resume. Hubble can operate with just a single gyro, although with some loss of productivity, such as the inability to perform some solar system observations. Hubble has six gyros, which were installed on the fifth and final shuttle servicing mission in 2009. Three of the six have since malfunctioned. The American agency faces two problems on the subject. The first is its budget. Even if it is the richest in the world, NASA does not have the means to finance a particular mission to take care of Hubble. In fact, the total cost to service Hubble in the last time with the shuttle and crew of seven was expected $900 million. Worse, there were even political debates this fall to reduce the budget allocated to the telescope in 2024. NASA is considering reducing the budgets of its two largest space telescopes, Hubble and Chandra. This is due to a larger reduction in spending on astrophysical programs against the background of the need to implement a very expensive Artemis program. The organization was highly counting on an increase in funding. In its budget proposal for fiscal year 2024, the Space Agency requested $93.3 million for Hubble and $68.7 million for Chandra, which roughly corresponded to the budgets of previous years. Together, this amounts to a little more than 10% of the total budget for astrophysics. This is the second concern. Technically, Hubble should have been inoperable for a long time already, but it has so few equivalents that it is better to continue the measurements. NASA has invested massively and now operates the James Webb Telescope, while in its clean rooms, the future Nancy Grace Roman Telescope is soon complete. Even China is launching Suntian, its Hubble, next year. This being said, faced with the countless comments each year to save Hubble or bring it back to Earth, NASA agreed last year to receive proposals for different types of service missions. So, it's time to call the help from the private sector. Guess who helped them? Yeah, you got right, it's SpaceX, which is NASA's close partner. NASA and SpaceX signed an unfunded Space Act agreement on September 22, 2022, to investigate the viability of a SpaceX and Polaris program proposal to push the agency's Hubble Space Telescope into a higher orbit with the Dragon spacecraft at no cost to the government. This study was proposed by SpaceX and the Polaris program to better understand the technical constraints associated with servicing missions. 
This research is non-exclusive, and other businesses may propose comparable research using different rockets or spacecraft as a model. Teams anticipate the investigation to take up to six months, during which time they will collect technical data from both Hubble and the SpaceX Dragon mission. This information will assist in assessing whether it would be possible to safely dock the telescope and maneuver it into a more stable orbit. At that time, Jared Isaacman, the billionaire backing the Polaris program of SpaceX private astronaut missions, suggested that a Hubble mission could be the second of three planned Polaris missions. For those living under the rock, the Polaris program, a collaboration with SpaceX, was announced in 2022 and is set to conduct up to three human spaceflight missions to demonstrate new technologies. Its first mission, Polaris Dawn, is targeted for no earlier than the fourth quarter of 2023, and will see the Dragon spacecraft containing four astronauts fly 870 miles above Earth, the highest since the Apollo mission to the Moon. The third mission is scheduled to be the first flight of SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. After the publication of news about the technical problems of the telescope, he again announced his proposal. Isaacman pointed out that such a mission would give Hubble a decade of extra life and provide an opportunity in the future to remove the telescope from orbit using Starship and deliver it to Earth for placement in a museum. He also raised the possibility of repairing the telescope. He has pointed out that it is possible, and modern gyroscopes and computers are no longer the size of a refrigerator. At the same time, not all experts share Isaacman's enthusiasm for the possibility of repairing Hubble, pointing out that Crew Dragon has neither an airlock nor a manipulator arm. In addition, although the mission is funded by the billionaire's own funds, NASA will still have to spend time and resources on its preparation and support. This may become a problem because, as I said, the organization is considering the possibility of reducing costs for Hubble due to current budget constraints. In addition, the space community also shared its views on Isaac Mound's proposal. Although insiders do not reveal details about how they will carry out the mission, some speculation suggests that the second Polaris mission will include a spacewalk. This comes from the fact that in 1993, NASA sent up astronauts in the space shuttle endeavor to repair the telescope manually. Five spacewalks later, the astronauts completed the repairs. They installed a device containing 10 small mirrors that intercepted the light from the primary mirror and corrected the pathway to the sensors. Afterward, the Hubble began taking some of the most astounding images of space we've seen. However, this also raises several issues regarding EVIA suits and spacecraft engineering. The suits will likely not be maneuverable enough to support replacing the gyroscope systems, not to mention the issue of containing the gyroscopes on board while being docked and with the proper orientation of the engines. Crew Dragon's main engines are located under the launch arrow cover and separated equally around the docking adapter, the four black circles seen on the craft to reboost. It's likely they will attach the prototype docking port. The port on Hubble is a prototype of the ISS port on the rear of the trunk, making access of the trunk interior very difficult. Add to this the modifications like handlebars to the Dragon craft, and it becomes much more difficult to service Hubble. More likely, a future NASA mission will fly on a starship, likely by docking a crew dragon to the starship for safety and use a robotic arm to assist in the repairs. Using NASA astronauts and the new orbital EVIA suits to assist in the upgrades. So, how about you? What do you think about the feasibility of NASA's solution to save the Hubble telescope? Don't hesitate to put your ideas in the comments section below. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you next time.